Hey awesome friends, I am Awesome Danny, and this is the Truthier Zero Red, a collaborative dual dynamic driver I am with Critical. But before we get into that, I want to thank Rinse Jester, our friendly neighborhood grumpy old man, for sending these out to me to review. Uh, he also said he doesn't want them back. So we're going to do a giveaway for them in this video. I'll go over the details of the giveaway at some point throughout the video. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. So the zero red is a $55 IM with two dynamic drivers, one 7.8 millimeter and one 10 millimeter. Um, it's a sequel to the original truth ear zero that came out about a year ago. Build is pretty much the same. It's the same shell. You get the same accessories as well. Uh, the ear tips are okay. I actually personally don't really like them, but they're not bad. Cable is, uh, it's okay quality, but it tangles a lot and it's actually kind of annoying to use. So I usually swap that out. It also comes with a nice soft, uh, leather pouch. And I'm not sure if it's real leather, it's a nice little soft pouch. Uh, the one on my original Zero actually started unraveling, so I never used it long, but this one looks like it's the same one. Uh, the biggest issue I've seen with the red in terms of the build, it has to do with the fit. The nozzle is actually pretty big, uh, not just lengthwise, but in girth. It's a very girthy nozzle. So, Sometimes it's a little difficult to fit into your hole. So let me go over the overall sound of the zero red, and then uh, we can compare it to the original later on. The zero red is a very safe sound signature is the best way I can describe it. It is the, what you would expect from critical neutral with a bass boost. So what I didn't expect was to enjoy the sub bass on this set as much as I did, or the mids as well. Um, treble lacked energy for me. Um, it was missing some of the sparkles, a little bit of the intensity. It was just a little darkened for my taste. The mids were very enjoyable uh, i believe that's probably be due to it being so neutral that you were able to just you know take it all in you can kind of hear everything even though it's not as engaging the most engaging part is that sub bass that i mentioned so for most of my listening time i didn't use the impedance adapter that was included with it the adapter does increase the bass response and make it more fun, but then it also emphasizes the lack of energy in the treble or the higher frequencies. So for me, the adapter was a no-go and I just stuck with the stock tuning. And while we're on the topic of the adapter, it's just kind of in the way it's it's really nice to just be able to plug it in and have you know that effect on the tuning without having to go into software any EQ, or do it in some other way but it does get in the way it's you know big clunky determination on the stock cable is a 90 degree angle so with the adapter it just makes it more of a hassle so now to compare it to the original Truthier Zero, the original was, you know, based on the Harman target, which a lot of people found to be a little too intense in the higher frequencies and the upper mid range, maybe, you know, a little too shouty, too intense. And then the bass tuck, which I personally do not like bass tucks. The red doesn't have you know, that bass tuck that the original did. 
and the original had a roll off in the base so you didn't get as much of the sub base presence either so overall i believe that these are very similar basically the original has a little bit more engagement a little bit more energy and due to the treble a little bit more perceived detail retrieval while the red due to it being you know more even more balanced had a more perceived timbre quality and engagement in the sub bass i still prefer the original over the new uh zero red but if you can take a little bit of qualities from both of them and put it together it would make a very good and engaging i am in my opinion um my favorite part of the red was the base so we could get that on the blue i'm sorry the original red blue i would love that technicalities are basically the same on both the driver configuration is the same it's just the tuning the tuning was the only difference here it's basically a retune of the original all right so now to get into the giveaway details so i don't need both of these i'm only going to keep one and that's what we're going to do here i want you to comment down below which one you would want based on the faceplate color red for zero red and blue for the original this giveaway is going to be open to only people in the united states because shipping sucks i am going to put all the names of everybody that comments red or blue into a spin wheel and we'll draw the winner that way you also have to like the video and be a public subscriber so i can verify that you're subscribed to the channel so again make sure you comment which one you would like red or zero red blue or the original and whoever wins gets to pick which one they want and then i will ship it out to you so overall zero red very solid option uh it's gonna be i believe my default recommendation for that price range since it's a fairly safe tuning which is just a retune of the already safe tuning of the original in my opinion safe gone safer but anyways that's it for me i am awesome danny until next time you stay awesome friends bye